my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about environment externality in production and consumption. What do you mean by environment externality? Environment externality means cost or benefit of economic activities that impact our environment. Environment externality means cost or benefit of economic activities that impact our environment and these cost and benefit doesn't reflect in market price. For example, pollution from factory create harmful effect on society or we can say that factory pollution is cost for society but this cost doesn't include in cost of production. So it will be called negative externality. On the other hand, when a company purchase one land and create a park on this land, obviously this park will give benefit to society. It will be called positive externality. So we can say that externality means cost or benefit of economic activities that impact the environment. Now we will see negative externalities from production. Suppose there is one factory which is polluting our air by releasing so much harmful chemicals. Obviously, this is cost for society. It will be called negative externalities. Now, with the help of this diagram, we will clearly understand where is negative externalities. On x x we have quantities, y x we have price. D d is demand curve that is equal to M P B and M S B. MPB means merger of private benefit, benefit of a firm who is responsible for environmental pollution. MSB means marginal social benefit. Every product which is produced by a firm supposed to give some benefit to society. It will be called marginal social benefit. S is supply curve of firm that is equal to MPC. MPC means merger private cost cost of firm which is responsible for environmental pollution. MSC is marginal social cost, cost of society due to environmental pollution. E is our initial equilibrium point or we can say E is free market equilibrium point without any intervention of government. At this equilibrium point, the firm is producing OQ one amount of output and charging OP price. But this OQ one amount of output is generating so much negative externality or we can say that this OQ one amount of output is cause of so much environmental pollution and E point is no socially optimal equilibrium point at this E point you can see marginal social cost is more than marginal social benefit that's why E is not socially optimum equilibrium point. That's why now government intervention is a must. As government will intervene, government will impose taxes on a firm which is responsible for environmental pollution. As government impose taxes, cost of firm will increase. As cost increase, it will increase prices. As prices increase, demand fall. As demand fall, eventually production of firm will also fall, which is responsible for environmental pollution. E1 is our new equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, you can see production of firm has reduced from Q1 to Q and prices has increased from P2 to P1. At this E1 point, you can see marginal social cost is equal to marginal social benefit. That's why this E1 point will be called socially optimum equilibrium point. Now we will see positive externalities in uh, production. Suppose there is uh, one company which is uh, giving a uh, first aid training to their employees for their workplace uh, safety. But this training also saving life of people who are not their employees. Suppose I received a first aid training through my company but I am using this skill on my neighbors, on my child. That means this training giving benefit to whole society. So it will be called positive externalities. Now we will see positive externalities with the help of this diagram. Uh, this one is demand curve which is equal to MPB and MSB which we have earlier discussed and this one is marginal social cost curve and this one is marginal private cost curve. E is our initial equilibrium point at this equilibrium point of firm which is responsible for positive externalities producing OQ amount of output and OP prices. E is equilibrium without any government intervention. But this is not socially optimum equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point you can see marginal social benefit are more than marginal social cost. 
this line represent a marginal social benefit and this one is marginal social cost at this e point you can see marginal uh, social benefit are more than marginal social cost so e is not uh, socially optimum equilibrium point uh, that means uh, a firm production is giving a more benefit to society as compared to their cost that's why production of uh, this firm should be increased so government intervention is a must government will give subsidies to this firm in order to encourage their production as government will provide a subsidy to firm who is generating positive externalities their cost will fall as cost to fall uh, that means prices fall prices fall their demand increase demand increase eventually their production will also increase so even is our new equilibrium point at this equilibrium point you can see prices fall from p2 p1 and production increase from q2 q1 point even will be called socially optimum equilibrium point so because at this e even a point you can see marginal social cost is equal to marginal social benefit so even will be called socially equilibrium point now we are going to talk about negative externalities from consumption when consumption become cause of environmental pollution it will be called negative externalities from consumption for example people ride on a noisy motorcycle as we know some people modify their motorcycle in order to make it more noisy obviously they are enjoying but this is cause of noise pollution and noise pollution is cost for society so it will be called negative externality from consumption in this diagram you can see on x axis we have quantity consumed y axis we have price benefit and cost marginal social benefit marginal private cost marginal social cost even is our initial equilibrium point without any government intervention but this is not socially optimum equilibrium point at this equilibrium point you can see people are consuming oq1 and this amount of consumption is cause of so much environmental pollution at even point you can see marginal social cost is more than the marginal social benefit so obviously even is not socially optimum equilibrium be a point that's why government intervention is must government will impose a fine or taxes on people who are creating a negative consumption externality as a result their cost or we can say price will increase from p to p1 and their consumption will fall from q1 to q e will be called socially optimum equilibrium point at this e point you can see marginal social cost is equal to marginal social benefit so e will be called socially optimum equilibrium point. point now we'll see positive externalities from consumption suppose someone buy electric uh, car because of electric car obviously overall uh, air pollution reduced that means society is receiving a uh, benefit it will be called a uh, positive externalities uh, from consumption here uh, this one is marginal private cost marginal social cost marginal social benefit is our initial equilibrium point without any government intervention here consumption is oq and the prices is op is not socially optimum equilibrium point at this e point you can see marginal social benefit are more as compared to marginal social uh, cost that means society is receiving more benefit from this product that's why consumption of this product should be increase so in order to increase consumption government should reduce taxes on a electric car as a result its price is reduced and consumption increase from q2 q1 e1 will be called socially optimum equilibrium point at this e1 point you can see marginal social cost is equal to marginal social benefit so this is all about externalities from consumption and production i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video by take care